infrared Amy Mainzer. Potentially hazardous asteroids and sweet tweets that generate confusion. It's Saturday, January the 11th, and I've been working a hard day's night. I've been working like a dog. Feels like forever since I did a video, so I'm happy to do one again. I hope it's like riding a bicycle and I can jump ramps with it. So stay tuned, because who knows what we might find. Asteroids. Are they scary? Do me. And dangerous? Yes, no. Maybe. So come on. Let's ride. Have some fun. Let us learn some shizzle. You are on Earth and asteroid is coming to you. We're talking about potentially hazardous, dangerous asteroids spied by NASA's and Amy Mainzer's Neowise Space Telescope. It is one of those telescopes that takes photographs, floats outer space in Earth's geosynchronous orbit. And it got shut off because it was too hot and it didn't have enough stuff to keep it cool. Man, I hope that never happens to me. And they turn it back on again to look for infrared asteroids. And they're finding some. I'm going to go ahead and let Amy Mainzer tell you all about it. She is way, way more brain smarter than I am. Hi, I'm Amy Meinzer, and I'm the Deputy Project Scientist for a new space telescope called the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE. WISE is going to survey the entire sky in infrared light, and it's going to find all sorts of hidden treasures. We'll be seeing millions of objects that no one has ever seen before. Everything from dark asteroids to the coolest stars and the most luminous galaxies in the entire universe. WISE is taking the census of our solar neighborhood, and no census would be complete without meeting your nearest neighbors. Wow, Amy, you're such a good teacher. I realize now when you put it in that type of relativity that, Amy, you and I are neighbors, really. Can I borrow a cup of sugar, darling? That's how we talk to scientists in Texas. I'm just kidding. I've never talked to a woman before in my life. I wouldn't even know what to say. Go up and be like, hey, which colored Fruit Loop is your favorite? And then I imagine we just go from there. Yeah, so the wise asteroid hunter can kind of find the ones that gives us time to prepare for them. What happened is the ice cube maker on it broke. So it couldn't make the ice cubes that were cooling the camera sensor heat them up thingies. And so it couldn't take photos or I don't know, man. Crap. It broke. They turned it off. It wasn't that broke, so they turned it back on again. So this video is pretty much just celebrating. Yay, find some dangerous. It's doing its job. It's hunting comets and asteroids and the unknown in infrared. Imagine see Herculubus if Herculubus was around. Somebody invent a dance. Do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Use a hookah and a hula hoop when you do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Use a hookah and a hula hoop when you do the Herculubus. Wow, I think I've created a new American dance craze. Give me a beat! What's big and dark and possibly headed towards Earth? That's an open-ended question. Are you guys baiting me? I hope it's not the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man post-fire. That'd be creepy. Not that creepy. I could take out a Marshmallow Man. Just months after being reactivated, NASA's Near-Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or NEO-WISE for short. NEO-WISE has spotted a new potentially hazardous asteroid dubbed 2013 YP-139. Why pee? Because when you gotta go, you gotta go. Now this asteroid is not potentially hazardous to us. For I have not nailed down when it will be hazardous, but I hear it's centuries away. It's just cool that the wise is back up and running and it's like, hey look, this asteroid, it's like a giant piece of coal. It's really dark. I feel weird renaming Mainzer's words, man. I can't do her voice. Her voice is sweet, like milk and honey. And starbursts candy. What would Captain Kirk do? We are delighted to get back to finding and characterizing asteroids and comets, especially those that come into the Earth's neighborhood. Amy Mainzer, the mission's principal investigator from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, said in a written statement. Wait, you can say stuff through writing? That's weird. I want to write something down right now. With our infrared sensors that detect heat, we can learn about their sizes and reflectiveness. The asteroid is about 27 million miles from Earth and is estimated to be 0.5 mile in diameter. For comparison, the one the Chabalinsky Lakum Chela Ya Binsk meteor that injured hundreds after exploding over Russia last year is believed to have been measured between 55 feet and 65 feet. 
2013 YP139 is certainly large enough to cause some serious damage. But what exactly makes it potentially hazardous? NASA is basing this preliminary classification on the rock size. And because the object's elliptical orbit could bring 2013 YP139 within 300,000 miles of Earth, I'll nine reported. I'll nine I'll die. Whoever heard I'll die before. Yellow potato. Whoa, okay. I'm not gonna make that joke. That was close. But no need to break out the doomsday rations just yet. YP139 won't be at its closest to Earth point for another century. In fact, the only asteroid on NASA's radar screen that has a semi-realistic chance of hitting Earth is 2007 VK184. But even this asteroid registers only the minimum score on NASA's impact hazard scale. And then, woman pulls gun from vagina after dispute over space aliens. Semi, colon, cops. Was it like an AK-47? I thought it was bad for the firing mechanism. To get the gun wet. I guess, yeah, guns do vibrate when you fire them. I just had this weird image of when he's going, go ahead, make my day. And then, did the aliens give her the gun that she had in her vagina? Vibrating ray gun. Hey, don't blame me, man. This is on the HuffPo on my science story. Right next to alien robot handjobs, the future is coming. Wow. Yeah, science. Space alien vagina guns. Next on Thor News. Whatever, Debbie Douchesaurus. Asteroid Hunter comes back to life successfully. And it's kind of setting up the second part. It's kind of setting up my next video. Are asteroids incoming? Has there been an uptick in data? Or has technology somehow taken some 2010 leap unbeknownst before? So I think outer space is cool. Talk about it allows me to show pretty pictures of both rocks and scientists. So don't be a scientista. Why don't you pull your pocket protector out of your ass there, Leroy? Alright, so... Man, Amy Manger and I have so much in common. She's a scientist. I'm a pseudo-scientist. We both like to dress up and lick things. What? Man, we make a pretty good team, huh? Now, this video is not about Doom. This video is about Asteroid Hunter comes back to life successfully. Don't go to the dark side. No, I will not eat your dirty diaper sandwich. Wow, this video ran so long, I didn't even have time to cover Amy Manzer's tweet referring to me. I guess I'll have to make a separate video for that one, because I don't know what Nerdball Holla is. But thanks, Jay Cook, Procon, 954S, I appreciate it. And we look at the symmetry, and she tweeted me, 11444 January 14. So that's 4114. She had 11444114. That's pretty cool. All right, I'll get started in the next video. Probably my last icing video of all time. Maybe, asterisk. And just remember, the only thing conservatives fear more than a Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man is a gay Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Peace out. God bless everybody. It's good to be back. Space Alien Vagina Guns. Next. Do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Use a hookah and a hula hoop when you do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Do the Herculubus. Use a hookah and a hula hoop when you do the Herculubus.